Hi, my name is Thomas Smart. I want to apologize. I am not very well versed in the spectator, but we're going to do our best here. Coming. Starting off this game at the four and a half minute mark, getting a little bit of damage onto the Fafnir, nothing major, a little poke out. Wanted to start off here by uh, talking about some builds. We see from the Heimdall a benevolence. Which isn't typically what you're going to see from these hunters. You see more, of course, like the Chiron with the Blue Stone, or you're seeing the Cowl or Gilded Arrow. Not as much after the recent nerfs. Uh, still something interesting to note. Looking like Horus is going to come up for this purple buff invade. Ping's coming out, and Heimdall does back, so he won't be here in time to get to defend this. Chiron going to try and push this wave under tower, while we do see the Bifrost come through from Heimdall. Gonna use that Bifrost to take care of this minion wave rather than defend the purple buff. Only gonna be Fafnir here for it. Stun coming out. Invade is going to be successful. Want to point out here, this is a Tsukiyomi middle and a Janus jungle. Rather than the other way around, which is why we're seeing the Boomba's Dagger coming from Janus. Bit of poke onto the Heimdall. It looks like Bologna may be wrapping around here for a gank. Ultimate coming out from Fafnir. Immediate response from Horus going into his ultimate. Chiron does not make it in, gets stunned out. Gonna try and get away here. Eagle's Rally coming through. Picks up the kill. We do see it through space and time coming in, trying to get some of these cleanup kills. Stun coming out into Heimdall. Ultimate onto Horus. Piercing Moonlight connecting into the Heimdall. Gonna pick up that kill. Bludgeon damage coming out. Dropping very low on this Horus, but a great portal from Janus. Off the mark on that stun with Bologna. Chinese mid lane will pick up the double kill here, making this a two for one in favor of the blue team. Gonna put them at about a 14 to 1500 gold lead. Ping's coming out into the mid lane, gonna look for this Sean Kui. Little bit stepped up, but no ultimates for anyone on the blue team. This won't miss. Exercise Demon coming out in response to this damage. Going to get those protections. Walk back to his tower, no problem. More onto the builds. Uh, we're seeing Nika in the solo lane has chosen to forego any kind of defense so far. All even over here, but a Void Shield coming out from this Thor will make it pretty hard to trade into him. Protector of the Jungle coming in from Bologna, meaning she's not going to have as much sustain as this Janus will. We'll make up for it with the more early damage. Interesting that we see the Boomba's Hammer on the Janus. We'll need the sustain to make it through the early game, but going to lack some of that damage from a Conduit Gem or Archmage's Gem into the late game. Another purple buff is coming out. The red team is here in response. Zatman going to get stunned out. Dashes away. Tsukiyomi is here. Shots coming in from Chiron as a Horror Soul comes through as well. Piercing Moonlight going to take out Soul Reaper on the Jean Kui. Blink in from Bologna. Through space and time will hit that Fafnir. Heimdall drops. Eagle's Rally is going to be used defensively. Masterful Shot is going to get that slow. Four on one. And Final K getting a solo kill over in that solo lane while this entire fight is going on. Fafnir jumping back to safety, detransforming, gets his other jump off, he'll be away no problem. This is going to open up for this blue team, Tsukiyomi already strips away that red buff while they're still trying to get this Fafnir, Horus just working on this purple, will we'll get a 3 for, or 4 for 1 all across the map, excuse me, with Bino K's kill and both of the camps, going to push this to almost 3,000 gold at an 8 minute mark. Leads starting to get away from the red team. Still seeing Nika for going any kind of defense, even after a solo kill, going for that Jotun's Wrath, trying to potentially get more hovering deaths online, make earlier rotations, and see if he can get onto this back line. Ping's coming out. Tsukiyomi getting caught out by himself into the mid lane. Sunder coming through onto him with the Exercise Demon. Heal from Horus, going to keep him out. Portal there, but not needed. See a rotation from the solo lane. Does look like Nika is up in his hovering death. Gonna be off the mark with it, it looks like. Piercing Moonlight does come through, pick up that kill. Final K on the rotation as well. Looks like they're gonna try and just back off over here. Go for their own camps, go for these neutral side camps. 
Zapman putting pressure onto Heimdall's tower. Gonna pick up this neutral camp as well. Looks like they're controlling the map very well, denying as much XP as possible. We can assume that whenever these red and purple bumps spawn, we are going to see a big rotation from the blue team and try and group up on that. Important to note, uh, Chiron going for the Transcendence. Oh, and a Horus Ultimate coming out will get the knockout to take him out of the Bifrost. Uh, beads not used there. Interesting hold. Action going on inside of the mid lane. As Chinese mid lane picks up the Zhang Kui. They were behind the tower. We do see a rotation from Nika coming in. Trying to stop this red buff invade. Does not have the ultimate available. Jan is going to portal out of there just fine. As Chiron sets up for this purple buff. Back's coming through for everybody on the red team actually. Do stop the Bologna. See if anything comes through it. Stun off the mark. Eagles rally used in defense anyway. Definitely a win under that. Surrender vote coming through. Has a 5,000 gold leaf is formed in 10 and a half minutes. Typically what you're going to be seeing is uh, once you hit that 10,000, it's a little bit rough to come back from. Tsukiyomi pushing in these middle lane towers. We do see Zapman getting aggressive in the duo lane. Gonna pick up that tower. Fafnir is here on the rotation. Uses the beads preemptively to get out of that hammer and a great dash to get away. Heimdall does keep the vision on him due to that passive. Ultimate coming through to try and get closer. Gonna have the damage to pick him up. The heal through from Horus not coming in quite fast enough. He's going to drop back into this purple buff, try and get a defense off, may hold this wave off of the tower. If we look into the mid lane, we see Exercise Demon coming out through space and time used while the Piercing Moonlight is used as well. Three on one here, does use the bead, Junkwee beads as well. We'll find the kill, get traded out. Through space and time, going over into the left lane, trying to pick up this Heimdall as Horus is boxing him. Looks like Heimdall is just going to go for that wave and try and make up his losses as much as possible. Fine, okay. And a 1v3 in the mid lane. Just going to defend this tower off. Thought that red team was going to try and go for that red buff. Nika decides to back instead. We do see off of that one solo kill from Fine OK, he has gained three levels over Nika, who is still choosing to not build any defense. This is going to hurt really bad, especially whenever you're a level 11 Thanatos, same level as the enemy support. Not going to be working great for you, especially when, when you're Thanatos, you want to be really putting that early game pressure on him. Red buff invade coming out as that man moves into the purple buff. Gonna be a good old two on two. Blue team with a hefty level lead. Horus will coming through so you can get those shields on. Knocks up the Fafnir. Zapman over on the purple buff is fighting. Gets thrown into the Bifrost. Beads coming out from the Heimdall. Egg is coming through for Chiron. Thanatos is in the air. One for one trade so far. Thanatos ultimate used. Didn't come down onto anybody. We do see that execute appear over Zapman's head. Off the mark on that stun. Not going to find anything. Possible counter gate. And there we see the lack of defense coming in from Nika. Even this as a Janus jungle. Not really in his best stage of the game. Still does about half health. Tsukiyomi coming in from the back of the tower. Piercing Moonlight coming through. Won't find the kill on Nika. In fact, getting engaged on. We hear a Thoral going into the air. See where he may lay, land down on. Chooses Nika off the mark. And his hammer gets silenced out from that uh, Reaper of Death. Red team attempting to try. Ooh, great unstable vortex. Eagle rally right into the Tsukiyomi damage. Going to take out that Bologna. Possibly could have been a chance for them to make something come back here after they do get the kill on Define OK. Hovering Death coming out. They're still going to try and force this. Pre-Aegis from Tsukiyomi was great. Get Silence out of the stun, and they will find that kill. Through space and time, off the mark. Going to portal over to the Gold Fury. Try and get into some kind of safety. Shots coming out from Chiron. Masterful shot. Going to do it. It will not. Thanatos going to live through this one, but this Heimdall has no beads at this point. This is a rough spot for him to be in. They will pick him up. Jump and come out of Fafnir gonna de-transform as a horror assault comes through gonna keep this chase going Fafnir does get the leap over the wall 
portal coming through if anybody wants to chase. Doesn't look like they want to take it. They're going to instead go for this minion wave. Possibly look for buffs, but this is going to be a 3v2 in this point. Bologna coming back. Blink comes out. Will take out Zabman. Bologna at this point does have a Frostbound, Frostbound Hammer online. Zen probably not going to be making out of this one. Just going to be a slow burner. Bludgeon coming in. And there it is. Uh, thank you for your time.